Before the 2020 season stopped, Bradshaw Mountain softball fans saw a lot of this, and this, and this. The Bears outscoring their first four opponents 70 to nothing. What we had was not just a lot of talent, but we had a lot of history together. We're from a small town, and just that bond and that connection was something that is really hard to replace. What we remember about this team? Just the relationships. More than the softball, it was a really good group of friends to go through high school with. So I'm sad it had to end like that. The girls in Prescott Valley had a sad ending a year ago, losing by one run in the 4A state semis. But Bradshaw Mountain brought back eight motivated seniors who started on that team. Seven of them already signed to play in college, four of them Division I. We had all the pieces to the puzzle, so this was the year we knew what we wanted and we weren't going to settle for anything less than competing for a state championship. How much did you guys talk about state? A uh, lot. Well, our goal had been state since we stepped out of campus the first day. Now the Bears extremely tough because of a prolific one-two punch in the circle. Nebraska-bound Caitlin Neal and GCU-bound J.C. Hambrick, among the best pitchers not only in the state, but the country, combining for seven shutouts in ten games this season, with a no-hitter for Neal and back-to-back -back perfect games for Hambrick. We created a mentality that we want to win, and we have nothing else in our head that there's another choice. Neal also led all of Arizona with eight home runs in the first ten games. It's just hard to imagine this group wouldn't have gone on to win the program's third state title. You have to stay positive. You know, we talk about adversity all the time and control the controllables. And this is one of the things you can't control. You have to move forward with life just like anything else. I'm just very thankful for the time that I did have because I have so many great memories on the bus rides and just very thankful for all the opportunities I did get. Nick King for Arizona's Family.